In this quick tips video, I show you how to get AMS2 up and running on Steam with OpenXR <laughs> to potentially give you increased performance in VR and all from an older gamer's perspective. What you need. Various sims on Steam, such as LMU or AC Evo, can access OpenXR without issues. But to use OpenXR with AMS2, you will have to install a couple of DLLs to fool the Steam VR loader into using OpenXR with AMS2. Fortunately, this is pretty easy to accomplish and links to all the web pages I'm about to mention can be found in the description below. So what do you need to get AMS2 to work with OpenXR? First of all, you need to download the Open Composite DLL from this website. Scroll down until you see the per game installation entry and then click here on this one, the 64-bit DLL. This will download the DLL to your default location, although you might be asked for download verification by your browser. If you also want to use the OpenXR Toolkit, you will first need to download the installer for the OpenXR Toolkit from this website. Simply click on the download latest link to grab version 1.3. 3.2, which is possibly the last version these developers will release. More on that subject later in this video. To actually use the OpenXR Toolkit with AMS2, you will also need to download the Bypass Oculus Detector from here by clicking here and then downloading the lib OVR RT64 underscore one dot DLL by clicking on it. Once you have these two DLLs and the OpenXR install package downloaded, you are ready to begin the setup. Good start. Installing the DLLs. Once you have downloaded the DLLs, find the folder where AMS2 is installed on your computer by clicking on AMS2 in the Steam library, then the settings cog, then manage, and finally, browse local files. This should open a Windows Explorer tab at the location where AMS2 is installed on your system. Here you need to open the x64 folder, then find the DLL inside this folder called OpenVR underscore API dot DLL. Once you have found this, rename this DLL to dot BAK to create a fallback just in case you need this DLL in the future. Now copy and paste the openvr underscore API dot DLL that you downloaded earlier in this video into this folder. And believe it or not, <laughs> that's all you actually need to do for AMS2 to work with OpenXR. Now to access AMS2 using OpenXR, you simply select the Steam option after you hit play in the library. AMS2 will now use the OpenXR codec and potentially give you a VR sim racing experience with more performance headroom. And yes, it is all really that simple. And if for some reason you want to revert back to how it was before, just return to the X64 folder, delete the OpenVR underscore API dot DLL, and then edit the original DLL to remove the back part of this file name and you will be back where you started. If you also want to use the OpenXR Toolkit with AMS2, not something you have to do, but it is a nice to have option, then move on to the next section of this video. Easy peasy. Installing the OpenXR Toolkit. The OpenXR codec can be used with or without the OpenXR Toolkit. And while I do love the extra options available in the OpenXR Toolkit, you should be aware that this toolkit is no longer being developed by the original creators and it may stop working at some point in the future. In fact, the developers don't even recommend anyone now installs the OpenXR Toolkit, which is a shame as it's really very good. That being said, it is working as of February 2025 with most sims that I've I've tried and if you want to use it with AMS2 you will need to do the following install the package you downloaded earlier using this file if you have already installed the OpenXR toolkit for other sims you don't need to do this one install will work with multiple sims once installed you will also need to add a DLL in order to be able to use the OpenXR toolkit from inside AMS2 to do this find the DLL you downloaded earlier this is the LIB OVR 
rrt64 underscore one dot dll and copy and paste this to the ams2 root folder as shown here before you launch ams2 to try out the openxr toolkit it is also worth launching the companion app which is installed as part of the toolkit with all of that done, launch AMS2 using the Steam option as shown earlier in this video. And you should be greeted with a sign telling you how to open the XR Toolkit from within AMS2. I've covered setting up and using OpenXR Toolkit in some other videos in my catalog, so I will link some of them below. Take a look at them if you need further details on setting up the Toolkit for your best sim racing experience. But I will be making a future video about AMS2 that details this a bit further. Detail after detail. Conclusions. And that's all there is to it. With or without OpenXR Toolkit, the OpenXR codec is, in my view, the better and more efficient way to use VR with any sim, either standalone or through Steam. It just works really well with VR headsets like the Quest 3 and offers greater performance headroom, which is very useful if you're not rocking a top-of-the-line GPU. I personally use OpenXR with iRacing, AMS2, LMU, and even AC Evo, although currently I'm not having much luck getting Evo to run with any graphical settings, I might throw at it early access. I know. That all being said, if you want to use AMS2 and push the graphics just a little bit further, OpenXR should be one of the tools you use to achieve this sim racing aspiration. Lastly, if you do have issues with the OpenXR Toolkit, launch the companion app and click on this box to disable the toolkit for all sims or simply deselect AMS2 here in the list at the bottom. Let me know in the comments if you find OpenXR gives you a better performance in your favorite sim or if you have an alternative way to optimize your sim racing experience. In the meantime, I hope you found this video helpful and until the next one, race clean and I'll see you on track. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and if you haven't already done so, subscribe. Click the little bell icon if you want to be notified of any future videos.